Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you're stuck in a situation where your Fire Stick is not connected to your Wi-Fi, maybe because you've changed your Wi-Fi or you've taken your Fire Stick away to another location but your Fire Stick remote is not working or you've forgotten to take it with you, then how are you able to use your Fire Stick without the remote to connect it to your Wi-Fi? Well, hopefully this video will give you the solution that you've been looking for. In this solution, you will need a few things. First, you will need the name and password of the last Wi-Fi that your Fire Stick was successfully connected to. Second, you will need a device that is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi so you can create a mobile hotspot. This can be a PC, laptop, smartphone or tablet. Thirdly, you will need a second device that is either a smartphone or a tablet. And lastly, you will need your Fire Stick plugged in. Once you've got all of that and you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so you've got this message on your screen and you've lost your Fire Stick remote or it's broken or you forgot to take it with you. So at this point, you're kind of stuck. However, you can use the Amazon Fire TV app, which you can install on your smartphone or tablet. But of course, you need to have both your Fire Stick and your smartphone or tablet connected to the same Wi-Fi network for this to work. So what's the solution? The solution is to use a device to create a mobile hotspot. This can be your laptop, PC, smartphone or tablet, so long as it is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. You can then connect your second smartphone or tablet and your Fire Stick to the same Wi-Fi network, which will then allow you to use the app Amazon Fire TV on your second smartphone to control your Fire Stick. Now, the reason you need a separate device to create a mobile hotspot is your device that you've used to create the mobile hotspot cannot connect to its own mobile hotspot. And the reason you need to know the name and the password of the last Wi-Fi that your Fire Stick was connected to is to create your mobile hotspot with the same name and password to make your Fire Stick connect to it. If you know how to do that, then go ahead and set this up and this should resolve your problem. However, if that sounds a little too complicated or you've never used a mobile hotspot before, then stick with me and I'll show you how step by step. The first step is to create your mobile hotspot and change the name of that hotspot to the same Wi-Fi name and password that your Fire Stick was last connected to. In this example, I'll be using a Samsung Galaxy S20 to create the mobile hotspot. But if you're using a PC, a laptop, tablet or iOS device, the steps will be slightly different. If you have any questions or need a step-by-step -step guide for devices other than an Android smartphone, then comment down below and I can send you a step-by-step -step guide for your device. First, swipe down from the top of the screen and select the cog icon in the top corner. Next, select connections. Then choose mobile hotspot and tethering. Tap on Mobile Hotspot to enter the settings. Then tap on the three dots in the top corner of the screen. Choose Configure Mobile Hotspot. Then delete what is currently showing under Network Name and type in the name of the last Wi-Fi network that your Fire Stick was connected to. Underneath where it says password, delete what is currently there and enter the password to the Wi-Fi network that your Fire Stick was last connected to. Tap save and as soon as you do this and turn your mobile hotspot on, your Fire Stick will automatically identify it and connect to the internet. Now your Fire Stick is connected, the second step is to now connect your second smartphone to the same mobile hotspot. This second smartphone or tablet can be an Android or iOS. Swipe down from the top of the screen and select the cog icon. Next, select connections. Then find and select the mobile hotspot to connect to it.
Next, go to your app store and search for an app called Amazon Fire TV. Install it and when it opens up, it will start to automatically search for Fire TV devices located on the same network. And because you are connected to the same mobile hotspot, this will find your Fire Stick. Tap to select it and then you will be prompted to enter a PIN. Enter it and you are now able to fully control your Amazon Fire Stick using the Amazon Fire TV app on your smartphone. The Amazon Fire TV app is a really useful app to have and if you'd like to find out more and its functions and how to use it then check out my tutorial showing in the link above me now and in the description down below. Hopefully after following these steps you now have been able to connect your Fire Stick to the Wi-Fi and you can use it again. Drop me a comment down below if this has helped or if you have any other useful tips to share. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. And subscribe to my channel, making sure that you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of my latest releases.